and welcome from myself, Ben Evans, to the Fakisa Freeway Circuit in sunny South Africa for the Afrix Motorsport Test. Hi, I'm Dan Clark, and I had the honor of being the driver of the Great Britain car in the 2009 A1 GP series. And here we have the car that I raced. This was at Brands Hatch. And the terrible thing about that is this car and all the A1 GP cars have not been driven since that race in 2009 at Brands Hatch. But now we're at Pekisa Freeway, and we have the Afrix race car. What's perfect for driving here at Pekisa is all the turns are very long, very high speed and this car loves nothing more than high speed with all the aero downforce and grip that it has. What's even better about driving these cars again is that we actually have some improvements. We're now running the Cooper race tire. This gives us even more traction in all the turns. And we also have an updated electronic management system. So there's refinement in the shifting, but also we're able to extract even more power from the Ferrari engine. Take it, please. Okay. 
Um, I'm responsible for the technical aspects of all getting the cars up and running. We've uh, oh. been busy in the process of rebuilding all the cars and uh, we've changed, made a few changes from the original A1 GP cars and now we've uh, elected um, as a partner Life Electronics which is uh, a part of AR engines so we put in a complete new electronics and it's a very exciting project going forward. So I'm Andrew, I'm out here um, at Wellcom from Life Racing in the UK. Uh, there's really two companies in the UK I represent, which is Life Racing and Advanced Engine Research. Today it's Life Racing, and we've supplied the electronics for the Afrix, the Afrix racing car. Um, the electronics we specialise in are performance electronics for motor racing purposes. Electronic control units, control units for gasoline direct injection, display, gear shift control, uh, and all the normal monitoring items and wiring looms that are associated with those products. So our ECU is in a very advanced ECU and within the box we're controlling the engine, the logging, the gear control, the whole car is controlled within one box whereas the original solution was four boxes and we've also been able to map that on our engine dyno and we believe create a much better sounding engine and, and a higher performance level without actually changing the hardware. It's still the Ferrari engine but the Mapping of that engine and the way we've done that is, uh, I think it's it's better. The engine sounds better and the performance is high. We're still using the original steering wheel, and but Life Racing are developing a brand new steering wheel to go with this car. We expect to have those in the, maybe the first or second quarter of 2016. Um, so for this test, we're using the old steering wheel modified for our purposes, but in the future it'll be an all new wheel. This car has uh, an advanced hydraulic high-speed gear shift system, which um, which was part of the original car, but Life Racing have remapped that with our own ECU to control the shift, and the shift is incredibly fast. Each each upshift is in the region of 50 milliseconds from power off to power on, and in real terms, a human can turn a stopwatch on and off in around 200 milliseconds, as fast as you can do it. So it's you know, so in that time we can shift gear four times in this car. So it's outside of very latest e-shift technology, this is, this is very good, it's a very fast shift, sophisticated gearbox. Afrix was formed to purchase the A1 GP assets and relocate the show to South Africa. Sustainability is very important to Afrix Motorsport. Not only due to the exchange rate can we make this a cost-effective product for foreigners and international participation, but we also understand that community development is very important. And so as a significant component to the Afrix Motorsport model, we are going to ensure that we can inspire, motivate and develop the community in which we are operating in.
This is an awesome, awesome motor car. Uh, probably the most prestigious race car we have in South Africa at the moment. Um, we acquired these cars a year ago, brought them through to South Africa, and we've upgraded the, uh, the electronics. Uh, we've done some testing with these cars now, and it's just, everything is just roses, absolute roses. Um, We've done some uh, tyre testing on them this weekend and uh, we're really, really excited. Uh, everything has turned out far better than we, than we uh, imag ever imagined. And hopefully we'll get some really, really in interesting and exciting uh, racing happening in South Africa. Um, get some good international drivers to come across and um, experience what it's like to race a very modern, fast race car. The Aero Kit hasn't changed. The Aero Kit is exactly the same as what it was when it was designed. It's a very, very efficient. If you speak to any, any race driver who has actually raced this car, that's the first thing they say is that the error on this car is just absolutely amazing. The upgrade of the electronics has done so much for this car. What it's done, which, which I find very exciting, is that it's really, really brought out the sound of the car. It's, it's an exciting sound. Um, it's got a good crackle. It's a really crisp sound and it's, it's really brought it to the fore. It's, it's, it's just made this Ferrari engine really bark. South Africans have been deprived of racing, especially open wheel racing like this. There's a lot of excitement in South Africa. There's a buzz about the AFRIC series. And Pakisa is definitely putting its best foot forward to ensure that we host one of these events. Pakisa in Sutu means moving fast. And I'm sure today you've experienced that. You've seen one of the most beautiful vehicles that we've experienced in this track. We started off as a 4.2 kilometer track and we have a one mile oval. Something you need to know about Pakisa is the heat. The heat is beneficial to you, especially for your tires. We've had six motor GPs here. Valentino Rossi winning one of the motor GPs at this track. We've also had a NASCAR event that we held in the year 2012. This track is, absolute, is underutilized at the moment, but the, the Free State Government has taken a stance that they want to promote the track and they want to ensure that this becomes a world-class facility for testing. And with the team that we have here today, we are happy to announce that we have a good relationship with them. We intend extending that relationship and we intend seeing more international drivers utilizing this facility. I'm Neville Jordan, I'm the Chief Executive Officer of AFRIX Motorsport. We brought this exciting show to South Africa because South Africa, I think in the first instance, deserves it. We have a fabulously rich heritage of motor racing, stretching from world champions in Formula One down to world championship designing uh, engineers. This show does justice, which has been long coming, for South Africans to once more witness. The opportunity that a car of this nature affords uh, young international drivers climbing the ladder all the way to Formula One and ha having their inspirations met is by gaining extremely valuable seat time that is a scarcity all over the world, not only because of what's available, but because of cost. This car is a large engine formula car where there is no other opportunity in the world to experience it in the off season. My message to all the racing fans out there is you known throughout the world for having petrol in your veins. Come and demonstrate it by coming to support us. I've had a great time in South Africa and uh, being British, the, the weather is uh, quite the opposite of what I'm used to and uh, I'd love to come back. Follow our progress here at Afrix Motorsport as we reconnect Africa to the world of modern single-seater racing. From the Afrix Motorsport test here at the Fakisa Freeway Circuit, it's goodbye for now.